Hey, are you short on cash or credit to do more real estate deals? Then sign up for my upcoming five day capital crunch challenge happening this May 17th through 21st. And you can register for free at capitalcrunchchallenge.com. You're going to come away with this with a full roadmap on exactly how to raise six figures or more in six weeks or less and explode your real estate portfolio, even under today's challenging circumstances. All right. So each day is going to be full of training. It's a full on training and there's going to be uh, action assignments. There's going to be live Q and A. There's going to be handouts. I'm going to be recording it, keeping it up for the week. So if you can't make any of the classes live, you can always check back and check out the recording. So again, go to capitalcrunchchallenge.com. Get your spot today. Let your other real estate enthusiast friends know about this. And we'll see you on May the 17th. Take care. Welcome to Free Flow Friday, powered by the Property Profits Real Estate Podcast. I'm Dave Debo, and I'm very excited to give you an over-the-shoulder learning experience around raising capital, as well as other tips, tricks, and strategies to help you on your real estate investing journey. So let's start, let's discover together. So she really dialed in to all of that. And again, working a full-time job, being a, a mom, doing everything that's involved with that, went from zero properties to 47 doors in a matter of a year and a half, quit the job. Why? Because she had her why dialed in. Well, hey there, everyone. This is Dave DeBow from The Joy of Finding Investors and Raising Capital with another little video tidbit here for you. Today, I want to talk about another really important trait that I've noticed amongst the most successful real estate entrepreneurs. And it's this. The most successful real estate investors that I know of have really dialed in their why. And what do I mean by that? I mean, they really know why they want to be successful as real estate entrepreneurs. And it's not just because, hey, I want to be rich. That's, that's not going to carry you over. They've really dug deep. They've really found out what it is that drives them to do everything that's necessary to be successful as a real estate entrepreneur. So it brings to mind a couple of different stories. One is uh, a client of mine from years back and you know, he and his wife were chugging along. They were having a, a good life. They were fairly recently married. He was making decent money as a heavy duty mechanic. I don't know what she was doing. She might've been, I, I can't remember what she's doing, but anyhow, they were chugging along just fine. You know, he was your typical redneck kind of guy. <laughs> and and um, then his wife got pregnant with her first child. And the first child was born, and this should have been a very joyous moment. But unfortunately, there were complications with the birth, and uh, their daughter was born with severe, severe mental and physical challenges. And they quickly realized that she was going to require 24-hour-a-day care, seven days a week. She was never going to be able to be fully independent and she was going to require assistance for, for her whole life. And my friend, this was the, this was the catalyst for him to really delve into the why, because up until then he'd been having fun playing softball and drinking beer on the weekends and, you know, just living a normal kind of middle-class lifestyle. This really crystallized everything for him. It was when he and his wife realized that they were probably going to outlive their daughter. And if they didn't turn, turn things around, uh, she would be destitute once they were gone. So that was his spark. That was his why. And when he finally, when he got that why, he didn't have the faintest clue about real estate investing, but that sparked him to take action and to start learning about different opportunities, different choices. That's when he read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's when he you know, figured out that real estate was a, a way to create some passive income. That's when he started getting some education around it. And that's when he started taking massive action. Now think about it. This was a guy who was working full time, had a wife, had a special needs child that required 24-7 care. So when he wasn't working, he was at home 
helping out, helping his wife out, giving her a break, helping with her child. And in spite of that, he still found the time to do multiple deals in his first year. He figured out how to raise capital and go out. Well, he self-financed his first couple of deals, but then he dialed in how to raise capital and go out and do deals. And he did multiple deals in his first year, uh, cleared an extra $100,000 in net profit in his first year from a few deals, and just really helped create that nest egg that his wife and he needed and wanted for their child. Now, fast forward ooh, 10, 15, no, 15 years, uh, he and his wife are doing very, very well thanks to that initial decision. Another quick story, Jamie and Leslie Collard, uh, some very successful clients of mine, same thing. Uh, their why, um, definitely very, very strong for uh, Leslie, and that was she wanted to regain her freedom. She was clocking in at a job she really didn't like. It was a go-nowhere kind of position. Uh, there, there was no real hope for financial freedom with that job. And she wanted to have a better life for her, her husband, and for her, her son. And she wanted to be a good example for her son as well. So she really dialed in to all of that. And again, working a full-time job, being a, a mom, doing everything that's involved with that, went from zero properties to 47 doors in a matter of a year and a half, quit the job. Why? Because she had her why dialed in. All right, so that's the importance of really understanding your why. So what does this mean to you? This means, in, in my opinion, if you're not as successful at what you're doing with real estate as you want to be, part of the reason might be that you haven't really crystallized your why, or it's vague, or it's not specific, or it's not, it doesn't really grab you by the guts and move you. Well, hey there, thanks for tuning into the Property Profits Podcast. If you like this episode, that's great. Please go ahead and subscribe on iTunes. Give us a good review. That'd be awesome. I appreciate that. And if you're looking to attract investors and raise capital for your deals, then I'm going to invite you to get a complimentary copy of my newest book right back there. There it is. The Money Partner Formula. You can get a PDF version at InvestorAttractionBook.com. Again, Investor attractionbook.com. Take care.